Welcome to The Hustle. It's not your typical hustle today. We're jumping out of a plane and we're doing a lot more than you can ever imagine. Let's go. It starts with a dream, a vision, a goal. They work countless hours and have the energy to keep going. They are entrepreneurs, politicians, and leaders. They are the people who are making a difference. They are the hustlers, and this is their story. Hey everyone, we're uh, live here in Virginia, and I want to bring in Jay Redman. Jay is the one who's been heading this up. So what we do is we take amazing individuals like Allison, <laughs> and we give them a taste of what, it, what a typical day of training for a special operations warrior is like. I had a very unique career. I was an enlisted SEAL, and later I became an officer. I made some mistakes as a young leader. I, I viewed the world through the wrong lens of leadership back then. Made a bad call on a mission in Afghanistan and found myself at a point in my career where I was facing potentially having to get out of the military for some bad decisions I made. And that road of damaging my credibility as a leader and having to build myself back up and redeem that, that was the hardest road I ever walked. And uh, I couldn't talk, um, you know, I was wired shut, I was traked, I had a stomach tube, I mean, I was a mess. But I wrote, I, I, that's how I could communicate, I would write, and I wrote to my wife, I said, never again, never again is somebody else going to come into this room feeling sorry for me because I refuse to feel sorry for myself. And uh, in that moment, I wrote out this sign. I wrote attention to all who enter here. If you're coming to this room with sadness or sorrow, don't bother. The wounds that I receive, I got in a job that I love, doing it for people that I love, defending the freedom of a country I deeply love. I'll make a full recovery. What is full? That is the absolute utmost physically I have the ability to recover. And then I'm gonna push that about 20% further through sheer mental tenacity. This room you're about to enter is a room of fun, optimism, and intense rapid regrowth. If you're not prepared for that, go elsewhere. And uh, somebody took a picture of it and it went online, it went viral all over the place. Um, I got invited to the White House to meet President Bush because of the sign. But the biggest thing I tell people, I might have written it, but I merely captured the spirit of what I call the overcome mindset that I think so many wounded warriors have and anybody has. It was hard for me to deal with what I had been through and the fact that now I was disfigured, much less to have other people looking at me in this judgmental way. And those that had the courage to ask me, hey, what happened to you, wrongly assumed I'd been in either some kind of accident. You know, they never put two and two together and thought, wow, you know, I wonder if this is a warrior or a soldier that's in, been injured overseas. Uh, and that really bothered me. So the light bulb went on in my head and I said, we need to do something to increase the awareness. And that became the creation of Wounded Wear. And Wounded Wear, we provided free clothing and clothing modifications to wounded warriors. And we wanted to raise the national awareness of the sacrifice that so many of our military members have made for freedom. And then in 2015, we expanded into the Combat Wounded Coalition to connect wounded warriors with other good organizations that are out there. And uh, so we always look for creative ways of things that we can do to try and raise money. A lot of people said, man, I'd love to be able to do what you used to do. And uh, we said, well, shoot, let's put together an auction package where we give them this experience. They get one day where they get to experience what it's like to be a special operations member. This package is called the Soft Warrior for a Day Package. Most of the time when you skydive, you're gonna land in a specific area that's made for landing. Uh, we actually jumped into a field in the middle of rural Virginia. And that's more like what you would do in an actual special operations training mission or real world mission. And then we transition and we're putting all the winners through uh, pistol and rifle marksmanship courses, how to properly handle a weapon, how to handle malfunctions, how to change magazines, how to be proficient with a gun. And the final exercise is uh, individuals get to shoot the 50 caliber sniper rifle, which everybody's fascinated with snipers and that is the granddaddy of the guns. Our goal with the Overcome Academy is to develop the next greatest generation. The only thing you're going to have left in the end is the relationships you built and sustained in this life.